Uh, I'm David Crum, and this is Warren Petoskey. And Warren, we've known each other since your great-great-grandfather's statue mm -hmm. was uh, dedicated in Michigan. He was a famous Native American leader in Michigan. And for the past year or two, we've been working on preparing your memoir mm -hmm. uh, called Dancing My Dream. And you are part of Odawa. Some Americans will have seen that spelled like Ottawa, mm -hmm. but it's uh, Odawa, you would say, and Lakota. Mm -hmm. And your wife, whose story also appears in the book, is, uh, what are her uh, nations? She's Choctaw and the Cherokee, Western Band Cherokee. And the book tells not only, it tells a little bit of your great-great-grandfather's story, it tells several generations of your family's story. One thing I really like in the book is when it came time for your wife to tell her story, you had her write her own chapter. Yeah. It was scary. <laughs> <laughs> the book, I pray, is a legacy that is passed on for people to read, uh, not only Native people, but non-Native people, and see uh, look through this small window and see who we are. And I felt it was important to uh, write these things down and I had archived a lot of notes and things and things I shared with David at one point. And that's when David uh, encouraged me to consider writing this book and we entitled it Dancing My Dream because that is one of my tribal names is Namadam Nimwi. I think it's important that all of us dance our dreams but we as tribal people, uh, um, there, there are dreams that, that come that have to do with our life and our, our uh, uh, conduct and our, our progress. And that those dreams we need to listen to.